Hello, this is Colin, and I'm joined today on today's tea by Lomu, the cat who doesn't care about tea. In fact, there she is. She's rather hard to see in the dark. Uh, mostly you're just seeing her butt, but she doesn't care for you. What can I say? And today I'm sampling for the first time yet another tea that was unfamiliar to me before when I picked up at Granville Island Teas today. It's called Honeymoon Tea. And uh, as you might imagine, it's quite a sweet tea. It's actually a very complicated tea. As I mentioned before in these broadcasts, I generally, yes, it's really that interesting. I generally stay away from teas that I find that are overly complex, uh, too many ingredients, too many flavors. It's more like potpourri than tea, but uh, enough of that. So in this, Depending on where you get it, I don't know exactly what Gravel Island uses, but different companies use different tea bases for uh, honeymoon tea. Uh, online, I found um, one blend had a combination of Indian, Kenyan, and Chinese teas, all black, of course. And another blend was Sri Lankan or Ceylon teas and Chinese teas. So... Yes, so um, though I guess the tea, the black teas that are used are kind of beside the point because into the mix you have sweet vanilla, bergamot, uh, cornflower petals, which adds to the sweetness, and rose petals, uh, and and a little bit of white tea. So a lot of flavors going into that. Uh, the sweet vanilla and the uh, cornflower petals adds uh, some sweetness to it. You don't really need sugar. Well, I never use sugar anyway. It does add sweetness. It's also, uh, when I, f actually when I first smelled it brewing, for some reason, it, 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 I thought for a moment it had sort of a slightly soapy smell. I'm not sure what that may have been from. But when you drink it, uh, the, the strongest flavors that I detect are the rose, and, and then the bergamot, and I think uh, everything else sort of falls into the background. But it is, like I say, a sweet tea. It's quite a smooth tea. It's a very nice tea, actually. Uh, I think it um, sort of skirts the knife edge of becoming overly complex. But this one, it actually does work for me. So, there you are. Honeymoon tea and Lomo. What's what do you think? She really couldn't give a damn. Anyway, cheers.